My name is Lily Merigian. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. I've lived in California since the 60s. I'm a retired educator. Uh, I've taught uh, uh, English and history and uh, theater and drama and speech, whatever, at high school level for a number of years. I've been a pre-K through eight administrator for 10 years. And now residing in Palm Springs in the Coachella Valley, I'm active in the church community, Armenian church community, uh, located in Rancho Mirage. And I'm also a political activist, trying to get the word out about the Armenian genocide. Have worked for years, have been in, in rallies, have uh, gone uh, and uh, uh, stomped in front of the Turkish Council in LA, and, and just very fervent ideas and feelings about the Armenian genocide. Yes, uh, uncles, cousins that I would never see. Uh, of course, both grandparents, both sides, uh, my in-laws as well, their, their parents uh, were killed in the, in the genocide, in the deportations. Uh, it's a very sad, long, tragic story that has had so little publicity, so little recognition in the world today, unfortunately. Of course, when Armenians that did survive were dispersed all over the world, and they had to make a living, they had to uh, raise their families, and there was no time probably in that 50-year period to really do much about what had happened, to do any political, take any political action, if you will. But now, in the last 40 years, uh, the diaspora here in the United States, the Armenian diaspora, has been working diligently, but it seems of no avail because this country is not willing, not well, probably for po political reasons, undoubtedly for political reasons, not willing to say it was a genocide and Turkey committed it. Just a few seconds ago before uh, I turned on the camera, you, you, you used the word and you were not upset, but certainly involved and you used the word uh, mind-boggling. Yes, indeed. Well, from the film that we saw today here in the uh, Tolerance Education Center and from the words that Yerik Keshishan spoke, and I was thrilled that there were so many non-Armenians here because it seems that we Armenians just give this message over and over again to ourselves. How and long have you been active in doing that over the years? Uh, since coming to California, actually, uh, for the last, what, well, since the 60s, 40, 50 years. Active in trying to get Writing the articles, uh, writing to the congressmen, uh, participating in rallies, particip participating in marches, uh, giving speeches, yes. And today, uh, you, you, you were my um, next seatmate, seatmate uh, yes, and indeed, you mentioned Joe. that you had an article today in the Desert Sun. I haven't read it yet. Tell us what that's about. The article is, it's, it's, it's time that Turkey uh, uh, admitted what it did in 1915, 1923. I start out the article by saying that international politics certainly have strange bedfellows. Some are deceitful, some are uh, in the, some are dependent and so on and so forth. And then I say, let's talk Turkey. And yes, Turkey is <laughs> that uh, so-called ally of this country that uh, claims it's a friend, but a friend in, in deed or a friend in need. And then I go on and tell the various aspects of why this country has not been open about what has happened and will not openly uh, charge or challenge Turkey for what it has done. And good for you, uh, good for the Desert Sun for publishing it now. Yes, if, you, if you submitted that to, say, the New York Times or. Uh, 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 no, uh, the New York Times is very adamant, has published articles again in April, on April 24th on this occasion, but rarely during any other time during, uh, during the year. New York Times has been very uh, supportive. 
And and what do you think? And I asked this question of uh, Mrs. Yakubian um, yes. uh, about w what should people do? People like myself, other people who are beginning to hear more and more about this in terms of getting the word out or our displeasure mm -hmm. or do we sign a petition? Do we send yes. in money? Indeed. Thank you so much for asking. Yes, indeed. Write your congressman. Write to the president. Write to your state uh, politicians. Uh, pass the word to your neighbors. Let them know. Uh, again, Margaret and I were just, my student and I were just talking about, uh, you know, how why we do this every year when we just talk to each other. We need more uh, venues like this where others are involved, where others can hear. I was so surprised when you turned to me and you couldn't believe what you had just heard. Why can't he believe it? Why don't these people know? Well, it's probably our fault for not getting the word where it should be. It, it is it, it is amazing now. Uh, tell me why you do this. Why are you so wor worked up? I mean, some of this is an, it's an obvious question and maybe an obvious answer. Why all these years you're, you're, you're fighting the, this good cause? Why? Why? Well, the victims, the victims of the genocide. Again, my family uh, uh, were some of those victims among the one and a half million. Their souls are still wondering why we aren't doing something about it. Why didn't somebody say, look what they did to us? Why doesn't somebody get... And I am for reparations. I know our speaker today said something about, well, we don't necessarily seek reparations, but I think Turkey should pay and pay big for what it has done to this. It was the first genocide of the 20th century, the first one recognized as a genocide. And again, too, uh, it's, it's, I mean, we say this all the time to ourselves again, that and Hitler's you know, words about before the uh, Holocaust were, look, no one paid attention to the genocide, we been thinking, oh, we can get away with this. And they used some of the identical tactics that the Turks used in doing so. I mean, wouldn't you be upset if, if there were no Nuremberg. I mean, Jews are still, I'm sure, upset, still of recall course. the tragedy, still get upset about what happened. I mean, can you imagine picking people in, in, in cars, cattle cars, and then dumping them into a gas chamber? Can you imagine? What is wrong with humanity? Here we are in the mid 21st century, and still human beings are doing this to other human beings. It's not right.